About 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized celestial body known as Theia collided with Earth at a sharp angle. If you could have stood on Earth at that very moment, you would have seen a massive planetary body hurtling toward us at nearly 64,000 kilometers per hour, around 40,000 miles per hour. This is what it might have looked like, an ultimate threat looming from the horizon. As the two giants approached, immense gravitational forces began to tear both worlds apart, including their cores. The collision sheared off nearly one-third of Earth's mass. Almost half of this material was blasted into space by the force of the impact. Computer simulations have reconstructed much of this catastrophic event. The explosion released clouds of molten rock and vaporized Earth material, which gradually gathered into a ring around our planet, an orbiting belt of glowing debris. Most of this debris eventually rained back down onto Earth. But over the next hundred years, a portion of it clumped together, forming a strange and beautiful new celestial body, the Moon. After the impact, Earth began to spin rapidly, tilted slightly on its axis. The searing clouds of material expelled by the collision couldn't escape Earth's gravity. Instead, they remained trapped, orbiting, colliding, and merging over time, until they formed what would become our Moon. In its earliest days, the Moon's orbit was much closer to Earth than it is now. From the surface, it appeared gigantic, taking up a vast part of the sky. As it slowly drifted outward, the Moon's gravitational pull on Earth weakened. This caused Earth's rotation to gradually slow and its axial tilt to stabilize. Now the Moon stands as a silent guardian, shielding Earth from countless dangers. But make no mistake, this wasn't the end of violence in the cosmos. Unlike Earth, whose surface has been reshaped by erosion and tectonic activity, the Moon still bears the scars of that ancient chaos. Its surface, riddled with craters, tells the story of the catastrophic birth of our nearest neighbor.